I'm Rosa Nutley Moore. Today's video is about fasting, detoxing and cleansing. I have just completed a mini cleanse myself. This time I used apples and I included watermelon. I posted it on Facebook and got a lot of comments about asking me why I would want to do a cleanse given that I eat a very clean, healthy diet and live a healthy lifestyle. But I'm going to share my reasons of why I do a cleanse. The first one is that it frees me up completely. I don't have to think about food and I don't have to think about preparing meals, which makes it a whole lot easier. I also enjoy the light feeling in my body and I don't feel heavy or have heavy meals so I feel an increase in my energy levels. Helping to give your digestive system a rest is a wonderful thing to do because it actually uses up a lot of energy to digest food. When you're only eating a light cleanse of fruit or vegetable juices, that allows your body to go in and do a lot of extra cleaning. It's kind of like your housework where you get in behind the couches and give it an extra clean. The other reason that I really find an interesting one is that it breaks eating habits. If you eat breakfast at lunch and dinner without really thinking about it, whether you're hungry or not, Doing a mini cleanse will allow you to get back in touch with your body. I also like it because it cleans up the taste buds. So when you've finished your cleanse, you'll find that you really will only require lighter meals with much less seasoning and certainly much less fats. Now some people, given the thought of doing a cleanse, would be totally in fear. <laughs> you know, the thought of giving up food at all, even for one meal, can be just totally overwhelming. But this, what this shares is, or what this shows up, is your addictions to food. And I think this is the reason why a lot of people just don't want to go there. And that's okay, but I'm just giving you the reasons of why I chose to do cleanses all those years ago because I really wanted to break my addictions to food. I love listening to my body and when you're cleansing and eating a light uh, program of food, it allows you to go into your body and go, am I really hungry or am I thirsty? And that is a great thing to get in tune with your body. Now my fasting history goes back about 15 years or detoxing or cleansing and I've certainly evolved over those times and I have used 100% water fasts which I wouldn't really recommend unless you've got some support with a professional practitioner because it can be a hard road. I've done juices, I've done mono fruits and the master cleanse. But look, there's a myriad of cleanses out there you can do. You might like to have a look at my other video on the three-day apple cleanse, and I think you'd really like it because it's quite easy to do. But they do evolve, and it's, it gives you time to get in tune with your own body. The other reason is to give your liver a good chance to dump all those toxins. Now your liver is a great big organ and it works very hard for you digesting a load of fats and a load of heavy toxins and a load of heavy foods that you might be having, heavy meals that you might be having. So again, doing a cleanse of some description will give your liver a great opportunity to just throw off all of that junk. Now Doing the apple cleanse or including apples in your cleanse is fantastic because apples have pectin and pectin really goes to work on the liver giving it an extra bonus to or extra content to clear that liver out. And of course the one that everybody loves is weight loss. Now if you do that little mini three day apple cleanse I've not had anybody that hasn't lost a couple of kilos in doing that. So depending on how long you do a cleanse for, you will definitely clean up a couple of kilos. So that's certainly worth a bonus, isn't it? The other thing, the other tip that I can share with you is breaking your fast. Now there's no reason, there's no, you know, you've, you've just spent a few days eating less. The last thing you want to do is break your cleanse with a 
big bowl of grains or a big piece of steak. What I'd recommend is that you go and have a lovely bowl or what I do, let me share what I do. I like a bowl of fresh greens, it's usually lightly steamed with a little bit of lemon and no other seasoning, just something light. Now other times I have added, just slowly added some more juices or added extra fruits or some salads. It's, it's really your choice. Again, doing a cleanse will invite you to listen to what your body wants. So just go easy. Take yourself over a few days to get back into a clean, healthy, predominantly fresh vegetables and fruit eating program. I hope this has helped you and hope it has inspired you to go in and try a mini cleanse. If you don't want to do three days, even if you just do one day, it's going to assist your body in so many ways. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my video today on fasting, cleansing and detoxing. And if you have, please remember to give it the thumbs up. And I'd love you to share a comment about whether you've done a cleanse and your results and what your experience of what you've done in doing cleansing, fasting or detoxing. And remember to subscribe to the video and that way you get regular video updates.